All right, folks. Uh, thanks for tuning in. It is currently uh, 6.47 p.m. Uh, Tuesday evening. Um, the local hydrologists uh, at the River Forecast Center in Anchorage and in our local hydrologist here, Aaron Jacobs, have uh, they met oh, over the last hour or so and discussed the forecast and they made some adjustments. And so we're still expecting the crest to get uh, to about 16 and a half feet, uh, give or take a little bit. We'll get into that in just a second. Uh, but the timing has been moved up. And the reason for it is, uh, <laughs> remember this weekend, we went into this with a lot of rain. It was raining. And the rain caused the Mendenhall River to rise. And in doing so, it caused it to the, the basin's release to be masked a little bit. And so the River Forecast Center has been uh, just trying out different things, trying to figure out when the basin actually started to release subglacially and not just the overtopping. So the overtopping came to an end and we started to release subglacially. All the heavy rain masked that. So we've been trying to you know, figure that out. And so now we got a new update. Uh, it's been sent out. It's on uh, it's, it's on our website, but we're just going to go ahead and discuss it here. Uh, so here is a look at the Mendenhall uh, River uh, hydrograph. And you can see their latest update there. We were sitting at about 11.67 uh, feet, getting close to 12 feet. We're going to be crossing that uh, here this evening. And then we'll continue to rise reaching 14 feet, which crosses over into that major flooding threshold early Wednesday morning. If I remember the timing, it was like 2 a.m. or something, 3 a.m. So just that early time frame. Uh, and that, that's when we would cross ma into major flood stage and then continue to rise into the later parts of the overnight, uh, reaching about 16 and a half feet give or take, you know, a quarter foot or so, um, late Wednesday morning. The timing, uh, I mean, because we have to put a, a time on it, it's 10 a.m., but the range, because there is some uncertainty in this, uh, the range is 8 a.m. to noon. That time frame is when we'll think this will crest and then begin to go down after that. So uh, this is just a quick look at that. So where are we? Basin level is at 13 three feet, and that was at 6 p.m., so here, you know, a little less than an hour ago. And the minute hall level, 11.6, so we are expected to cross the 12-foot threshold here uh, this evening and then uh, cross over 13 late, tu or late Tuesday evening. Uh, I think when I looked that up, it was like 10, 11, you know, just, just late this evening, midnight, and then the early Wednesday morning, crossing over into the major flood stage. And then Wednesday morning, that would have been, uh, say, around like four or five in the morning, kind of that time frame, just Wednesday morning. Uh, and then late Wednesday morning is when we would hit that 16 foot mark and that crest. So between 8 a.m. and noon. And that's the timing of what uh, we're seeing here. And so if we back up to, this is just kind of a summary graphic. You might recognize this. This is going to be on our website and on our other social feeds. Um, and so at 12 feet, this is when we would expect significant bank erosion along unreinforced river banks. A low section of road past uh, View Drive will be flooded with up to a half a foot of water. And some houses on the south side and east side of View Drive will start to flood. Water begins to flood some backyards of homes on the north side of View Drive, as well as other low-lying air areas. And Back Loop Bridge will be closed uh, during outburst events. I think I saw some some uh, posts about that, um, that the city is starting to, to close roads and and uh, help take precautions in this particular area. And uh, so let's zoom out and take a look at the 
actual product here. Let me zoom in to see if we can get it so you can read it at home. There you go. So flood warning. So this is the latest. I mean, this was sent 629 p.m. So, you know, 20 minutes ago. Flood warning for Glacial Dam Lake outburst remains in effect until 8 a.m. Thursday. Uh, this is for the Mendenhall Lake and river areas, you know, just right along the river. This is still in effect until 8 a.m. Thursday. And we have the warning out until 8 a.m. because that's going to include both the rising of the river the crest and then the coming down. Um, and so if, if uh, the river doesn't uh, empty out fast enough, you know, we may need to uh, extend it. That's all in the second half uh, of this flooding event. And uh, so if we scroll down, uh, continue to scroll, there we go. Uh, so this is um, kind of just some additional details here uh, of just the flooding is ongoing. This is uh, something we've been uh, monitoring and keeping you updated online for a record crest uh, between 16.25 and 16.75 feet is expected between 8 a.m. and noon. That's that that uncertainty. You know, yeah, sure, the, the exact points that we have to put onto a computer is, you know, 16.6 and 10 a.m., but you know, these have uncertainty to them. You know, how fast is the water going to escape out of the basin? Or, you know, as it rises, it may spread out. But all these little variables here and there cause for some of that uncertainty there. Water levels will go uh, above 12 feet around 7 p.m. Tuesday. So here in about 10 minutes, which we just saw, we are getting close to that to 12 feet. This will cross over major flood stage early Wednesday morning and then go below major flood stage around Wednesday night. So that's when it crests, and then it's supposed to go down. It'll go past that 14 feet mark. And so let's scroll down to some of these impacts here. Uh, this is starting at 12 feet, which we just uh, discussed a little bit. Uh, 12 and a half feet, uh, two to four feet of water will be in some backyards along Meander Way on the riverside of the Hesco Levee. Getting up to, let's say, 14 feet, uh, this would be crossing over into major flood stage. Uh, low section of road uh, past uh, View Drive, or 93, 474 View Drive will be significantly flooded and impassable. Water will begin to flow over the road from water flowing behind homes on the north side of View Drive. More homes along View Drive will begin to see moderate to major flooding. Locations on River Road with low river banks will begin to see water approaching driveways uh, and and just keep going. 15 feet multiple or major flooding of multiple homes along View Drive uh, up to a foot of water uh, covering Riverside Drive uh, right there. Tunor uh, Street and Mendenhall Ro uh, River School. And and while we're, you know, at the high end of the estimate does get close to 16.8. And so at 17 feet, which is outside of the our official forecast, but we do have that there. This is an estimate that water will be overtopping the riverbanks and flooded into homes around Wild Meadow Lane. And uh, businesses in the Vintage Park Boulevard will be surrounded and potentially inundated by flood waters. So there is that there as well to just kind of give an estimate of what the water could do at 17 feet. Uh, so once again, this is all available at weather.gov slash Juno uh, on our monitoring page. Lots of information is here available for you at any time. More than welcome to uh, check that out. And then the forecast timing, if you'd like to see more of that and more information, you just scroll down right here. You'll have the current observation, and then you can keep looking forward of, okay, what can you expect around 9.30 p.m. and around 11.15 p.m.? So I think the overall messaging that they wanted to pass on is that this the, the time to prepare is, whoop, wrong one, uh, it is now. Because as this forecast continues to be uh, adjusted and made sure, you know, massage, make sure we're going well, um, you know, we're getting close to my major flood stage. And this is where we can start to see some real impacts around the, the, uh, the Mendenhall River area. So now's the time to prepare, you know, don't, uh, don't, don't go to bed tonight thinking this is the final forecast. It's going to be adjusted and things are only going to go up from here as far as the river goes. So and that's the latest that we have that was just sent out here at the bottom of the hour. Um, yeah, uh, as we go into tonight, we'll continue to continue these updates 
on uh, on Facebook and Twitter and YouTube. We're having a whole other crew coming in. We'll be briefing them here shortly to let them know what today has been, what they can expect tonight, and then uh, they'll take over for the overnight hours. And then today's crew will be back uh, tomorrow. So uh, that's all that I have for now. And uh, I will see you all uh, tomorrow again. Have a great evening. And we'll see you tomorrow and see how this, uh, this whole thing pans out. So thanks for tuning in.